Time travel is among the most curious phenomena in the world, and while it remains debated to this day, there are alleged pieces of evidence that it already happened in the past. From time traveling experiments to evidence in art, here are 20 real cases of time travel that cannot be explained. Number 20. Rudolf Fentz In the 1950s, a man was found by locals in the middle of Times Square, New York City. He immediately stood out from the crowd as he was dressed in Victorian clothing, looking completely bewildered amidst the hustle and bustle of 1950s New York. Within moments, tragedy strikes, and the man is hit by a car. But that's not the end of the story. When the police investigated the unfortunate man's belongings, they reportedly found a copper token worth five cents, a bill for the care of a horse and the washing of a carriage, a letter from 1876, 70 dollars in old banknotes, and business cards with the name Rudolph Fence and an address on Fifth Avenue. It seems normal enough, doesn't it? Except for the fact that no one by that name existed in any New York City address book, and his fingertips yielded no results in any record. After extensive research, an investigator discovered that a man named Rudolph Fence did indeed exist and had vanished in 1876, leaving behind a wife who reported his disappearance to the police. It's as if Rudolph Fence walked out of the 19th century and into the 20th, only to meet his end moments after his arrival. Others believe that rather than a real person, Rudolph Fence is a work of fiction, but to this day, his story is among the most accepted and talked about proofs of time travel. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. Philadelphia Experiment In 1943, the Philadelphia Experiment commenced amidst the raging battles brought on by World War II. It was a time when everyone was looking for the next big breakthrough to give them the upper hand. This experiment focused on the USS Eldridge, a cannon-class destroyer escort of the United States Navy. Now, their mission was to make the ship invisible to enemy devices. Supposedly, this was possible through manipulating electromagnetic fields, or more specifically, by bending light around the ship. Now, according to the lore, something went spectacularly wrong, or right, depending on how you look at it. The experiment didn't just cloak the Eldridge. It allegedly teleported it from Philadelphia to Norfolk, Virginia, and back again with some reports even claiming the ship briefly vanished from sight, blipping out of existence before returning. What's more, the crew also reportedly suffered from severe nausea, and even more bizarrely, some were even said to have been fused to the ship's metal structures upon reappearing. There were also claims that instead of turning invisible, the ship traveled in time instead, experiencing what is known to many as a time slip. However, there are also those who doubt that the Philadelphia experiment actually took place, with no concrete evidence. That's not surprising. Even so, there are also those who believe that this actually took place. After all, such an ambitious experiment would be kept under wraps, and its result would most likely be limited to higher-ups and people in power. Number 18. Time Traveling Machine in Iran A few years back, Headlines around the world buzzed with a claim that an Iranian scientist had invented a device capable of predicting the future. It's not exactly a time machine, but it's something that deals with manipulating, or rather peeking, into the future. One of the scientists involved in the project, Ali Rezeki, described the device as something that could fit into a computer case, making it remarkably portable for a machine with such a groundbreaking capability. According to him, it wouldn't take you to the future or past in a physical sense, but could predict the details of the next five to eight years of your life with uncanny precision. But how does this work? Unfortunately for us, Rizeki kept the details about this machine a secret, with only a few people privy to it all around the globe. This is in fear that, and I quote, people will steal the idea and mass produce it overnight. We're yet to confirm whether this machine really exists or not, but if this invention gets released to the public, do you think you'd be interested in knowing your future through this machine? I personally wouldn't want to know, but what about you guys? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Number 17. Billy Meyer Edward Albert Billy Meyer is a man from Switzerland who's renowned for not only having contact with extraterrestrial beings, but also for having hopped through time with them. 
The stories began in the 1940s, but it was in the 1970s when things really took off, when Meyer started sharing photographs of what he claimed were flying saucers from the Plegerin, a race from beyond the stars. Meyer's narrative includes detailed discussions with these extraterrestrial beings and time traveling. According to Meyer, aliens took him on a whirlwind tour through time, showing him both the past and future events, from witnessing the life of Jesus Christ to exploring other planets. They even gave him a chance to get a glimpse of how our planet will turn out in the future. However, many are quite skeptical about his claims. For one, the photographs he showed as proof have been dissected and debated with claims of models and strings. Meanwhile, the predictions he claimed were also allegedly a mixed bag, with some pointing out vagueness or inaccuracies. Yet amid the skepticism, there's a dedicated following that stands by Meyer's experiences, arguing that his insights into environmental issues, human consciousness, and the potential for global catastrophes ring alarm bells that shouldn't be ignored. Number 16. The Chronovisor As much as it sounds like modern tech, the Chronovisor is allegedly an old time travel gadget that Italian priest Father Pellegrino Ernetti in the 1960s invented. Ernetti, who was a physicist and a musicologist, was known to be someone who was quite knowledgeable. Even so, many doubted him when he claimed to have helped construct a machine that could view events from the past. According to him, technology utilizes complex mechanisms to decode the energy left behind by past events. The chronovisor wasn't something that could help you travel to the future. However, it could help you see past historical events as if you're actually there. Ernetti even observed a performance in Rome in 169 BC of the lost tragedy Thyestes by the Roman poet Quintus Aeneas. He described details of the play and the scenery that no one could have known, which led many to believe that the chronovisor was indeed real. But how did it work? The chronovisor was said to be a large cabinet equipped with levers, antennas, and a viewing screen. According to Ernetti, every sight and sound of the past left an imprint on time and this device could decode these imprints, transforming them into images and sounds. Even so, the scientific community questioned the feasibility of such technology, noting the absence of any solid evidence or peer-reviewed research to support Ernetti's claims. Critics argued that the chronovisor was a hoax, a work of fiction rather than a work of science. Despite Ernetti showing a photograph of Christ on the cross that was allegedly captured with the help of the chronovisor, Many continue to refute the authenticity of this alleged time-traveling device. Number 15. Charlotte Moberly and Eleanor Jourdain In August of 1901, Charlotte Moberly and Eleanor Jourdain experienced something that forever changed their view about the paranormal and time travel. They were educators, with Moberly being the first female principal of St. Hugh's College, Oxford, and Jourdain an accomplished academic in her own right. One day, the two women visited the Palace of Versailles in France. However, they took a wrong turn somewhere and stumbled into, well, that's where things get weird. They claimed to have walked right into the late 18th century. Yes, you heard that right. As Moberly and Jourdain wandered, their surroundings began to feel increasingly strange. They described seeing people in period clothing, including a woman sketching who they later believed was Marie Antoinette herself. They encountered buildings and landscapes that seemed oddly out of time, and they felt incredibly out of place while walking. After experiencing the incident, they tried to study and figure out what happened. The two academics dug into the history of Versailles and the Petit Trianon, and the more they did, the more convinced they became that they had experienced a slip in time, witnessing Versailles as it was in the late 1700s. In 1911, they published their account under the pseudonyms of Elizabeth Morrison and Francis Lamont in a book titled An Adventure, detailing their experiences and the subsequent research they undertook to validate what they saw. Today, this is one of the most accepted and solid pieces of evidence about time travel. Number 14. Ettore Majorana Born in Italy in 1906, Majorana was a prodigy from the start. He was so brilliant that he made groundbreaking contributions to quantum mechanics. The disappearance of Ettore Majorana is one of the great mysteries of the 20th century. Despite numerous investigations, no conclusive evidence has ever come to light about his fate. Over the years, sightings of Majorana have been reported in various parts of the world, but none have been verified. 
and nuclear physics before even finishing his studies, Majorana was part of the legendary Via Punisperna Boys, a group of young scientists led by Enrico Fermi, who would later be known as the father of the nuclear reactor. However, Majorana was a genius in his own right. The men worked on neutrinos, which in simple terms are particles that pass through everything. It sounds simple, but it's complicated and hard to study, and we're yet to make large progress in understanding it. For this reason, his paper about neutrinos was considered research that was way ahead of his time. He proposed the existence of a particle that was its own antiparticle, now known as the Majorana fermion. His research a century ago continues to be relevant in this day and age. Unfortunately for us, Majorana never got to publish any more papers, and the reason why is quite mysterious. In 1938, at 31, after sending a cryptic note to his colleague Antonio Corelli, hinting at a great discovery, Majorana boarded a boat from Palermo to Naples and disappeared. No one knows precisely what happened to him. Did he start a new life somewhere else? Overwhelmed by the pressures of his genius? Was foul play involved in his disappearance? Now some believe that Majorana discovered the secret behind time travel, and recognizing the risks it would put on mankind, decided to keep it to himself and disappeared with its secret. Number 13. A Phone in a Charlie Chaplin Movie For those who have seen The Circus starring Charlie Chaplin, let me ask you a question. Did you notice a woman holding what appears to be a cell phone in the background of one of the scenes? This woman was believed to be a time traveler. You see, cell phones weren't invented until 1973, so how is it possible that someone decades earlier is already using one? Some suggested time travel, while others thought maybe it was an early hearing aid known to exist at the time, which could resemble a mobile phone in shape and the way it was held. Either way, the mystery of this unknown object remains. Number 12. Year 5000 In 2023, a man presented quite an interesting claim. He claimed that he's a time traveler who has photographic evidence from the year 5000. The quote-unquote time traveler introduced himself as Edward. He revealed a photo showing life in an underwater city that he claimed to be Los Angeles 3,000 years into the future in the year 5000. Edward claimed that in the year 5000, people would be forced to live underwater. He also claimed that by revealing the photo, he was risking his life. In exchange for humanity's future, he was willing to reveal what might happen in the future to prevent further destruction. Was it a legitimate warning or unnecessary fear-mongering? I'll let you be the judge of that. Number 11. Man holding a phone in a 1670s painting. Now here's another curious piece of art. In this painting, you'll see a young child, a dog, a puppy, two passers-by across the street, a man, and a woman sitting on a chair beside the doorway. There's nothing incredibly eye-catching in this artwork. However, several people have mentioned that the man seems to be holding a modern phone. To clarify, this painting is titled Man Handing a Letter to a Woman in the Entrance Hall of a House and is known to be the creation of Peter de Hoch. Even so, others still believe that the man approaching the woman in this photo isn't holding a letter in an envelope, but a modern phone. Number 10. Montauk Project in the early 80s, a man named Preston Nichols revealed something quite sensational that easily spread like wildfire. One day, Nichols claimed that he had recovered repressed memories about a government program known as the Montauk Project. According to Nichols and a growing number of believers and alleged participants, the Montauk Project was an extension of the Philadelphia Experiment. The project reportedly began in the late 60s, and continued until the early 80s, focusing on a wide array of experiments, supposedly backed by the United States government. The experiments that were part of this project aimed to discover things that aren't usually of interest to scientists. The experiments were meant to learn more about psychological warfare techniques, time travel, teleportation, and even attempts to create a mind-reading machine. One of the most famous claims about the Montauk Project involves the creation of a time tunnel, that allowed researchers to travel back and forth in time. Imagine walking into a lab in New York and stepping out into a different era or dimension. Sounds incredible, right? But that's just the tip of the iceberg. There are stories of monstrous creatures being summoned, psychic training sessions, and experiments that went terribly wrong, affecting the minds and lives of those involved. 
To this day, however, some are still skeptical about this project's existence. Number 9. Kersey Village Time Slip In 1957, three trainee soldiers walked down the trodden path of Kersey. Everything looked ordinary, until they noticed that the village looked different so much so that it was almost as if they suddenly were transported back to medieval England. He claimed that it wasn't just the structures around them, even the trees themselves changed colors along with the grass. From an autumnal landscape, everything transformed as if it was the first day of spring. What's strange, however, is that they allegedly didn't see any people in the houses around the village. And yet, after about 25 minutes of being enveloped in silence, the village was brought back to life once again. Was this another case of a time slip? Or was it just weariness getting into the soldier's head? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Number 8. John Tidor At the turn of the century, a name began popping up frequently in forums on the internet. John Tidor. In 2000, Tidor posted on online forums detailing his experience with time travel. John Titor claimed to be a soldier from 2036, sent back to 1975 to retrieve an IBM 5100 computer, a piece of tech said to be crucial for solving a future problem. But Titor didn't just jump straight back to his own time. Instead, he took a detour to the year 2000 for personal reasons. And while he was here, he decided to drop by some internet forums and chat about the future. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Titor made a bunch of predictions about the future, ranging from civil war in the United States starting in 2004 to Y2K-like issues that were supposedly going to cause chaos. He talked about a future where society had broken down into smaller community-driven groups following a nuclear war in 2015. And guess what? He also shared technical details about his time machine, claiming it was a stationary mass temporal displacement unit powered by two micro-singularities and even posted diagrams and photos of the device. At the time, many were convinced that all of John Titor's predictions, or rather memories of what happened in his timeline, would happen to us. But of course, the Civil War didn't happen, and 2015 came and went without a nuclear conflict. Many of Titor's specific predictions didn't come to pass, leading skeptics to label the whole saga as a hoax or a social experiment. Critics have pointed out inconsistencies in Titor's story, and question the feasibility of his time travel science. Some have even tried to uncover his real identity, proposing various individuals who might be behind the legend. But despite these efforts, John Titor remains an enigma, with many believing he's a true time traveler. Number 7. A Bizarre Experience in Liverpool On the 7th of July, 1996, a man and his wife experienced something otherworldly in Liverpool. Off-duty policeman Frank and his wife Carol visited Liverpool to do some shopping. The couple decided to split up at Central Station. Carol went to a bookshop called Dillon's in Bold Street to purchase a copy of Irvine Welsh's book Train Spotting, and Frank went to a record store in Ranelagh Street to look for a CD. About half an hour later, Frank walked up the incline near the Lyceum, which leads onto Bold Street to meet back with his wife. This was when things took a strange turn. As he walked down Bold Street, which he was already familiar with, the atmosphere changed inexplicably. The hustle and bustle of the 90s began to fade, replaced by the sights and sounds of the 1960s. Cars, fashion, and even the air felt like they were pulled straight out of a time capsule from 30 years prior. The policeman, understandably bewildered, continued to observe his surroundings. People around him were dressed in 60s attire, completely oblivious to the out-of-place officer walking alongside them. It was as if he had stumbled into a perfectly preserved gap in the 1960s, alive and well in 1996. What captured Frank's attention the most, however, was a van with the name Kaplan's on it. He recognized it as a business that had ceased to exist decades ago. He remained in that gap until everything around him turned back to normal. He found himself just standing on modern-day Bold Street, wondering if he'd just imagined everything he had just seen. Was it a trick of the mind? A slip through some crack in the fabric of time? Or perhaps something even more unexplainable? Number 6. Andrew Basiago's Experience In the 1980s, Andrew Basiago became part of a secret U.S. government program called Project Pegasus. And while most secret government projects sound unbelievable, 
Basiago's claims about this project are extremely hard to believe. According to Basiago, Project Pegasus was said to be an experiment in time travel and teleportation, spearheaded by none other than the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or the DARPA, known for pushing the boundaries of technology and science. Basiago claims that through this project, he traveled back in time, specifically to the Gettysburg Address, and witnessed Abraham Lincoln delivering one of the most famous speeches in American history. That's already unbelievable, but that's not his strangest claim. He also claimed that he traveled to Mars alongside a young Barack Obama, who was part of a group of chrononauts. While both of these claims sure make Basiago's story more unbelievable, he's quite adamant that Project Pegasus actually took place. The verdict is out on this one, so let me know what you think in the comments down below. Number 5. Modern Man in 1941 In 1941, the South Fork Bridge in Goldbridge, British Columbia, Canada was reopened. This photo was among the few captured on that day. At first glance, it looks like a typical photo, until you see the odd one out. Amid a crowd dressed in the fashion of the day stands a man who seems to have teleported from the future straight into 1941. This man is now dubbed the time-traveling hipster. This man is wearing what appears to be modern sunglasses and a printed t-shirt, sporting a hairstyle that was more fashionable in the 21st century than in the early 40s. The man's attire seems too casual and modern for the era. His sunglasses particularly were cited as evidence of time travel, given their apparent contemporary design. Then there's his camera, which some claim looks too advanced for the time period. A time traveler? Or just a man with a more casual taste in fashion than the rest at the time? We can only speculate. Number 4. Torrid Man In 1954, Authorities and workers in Tokyo's Haneda Airport became witnesses to an unbelievable case. It was an ordinary day until a man approached the customs desk with his documents in hand. Nothing was strange about his papers, except for his alleged country of origin. His passport indicated that the man was from a country known as Torred. Today, no such country exists, and this was also true seven decades ago. What's bizarre is that the man was fluent in several languages and was also already carrying currency from several European countries. When asked to clarify where Torrid was, he explained that it was located between France and Spain. Modern maps, however, didn't have such a country. When shown a map, he was genuinely shocked to find no trace of his homeland, pointing instead to Andorra and claiming that's where Torrid should be. According to him, it's been in existence for a thousand years. This left both the man and the officials baffled with each other's claim. To further prove that his documents weren't fake and that his country actually existed, the man from Torrid also presented his driver's license, a checkbook, and a passport, all issued by the non-existent country of Torrid. Unsure about what to do, officials placed him in a hotel room for the night, with two guards outside his door. The next morning, however, the man from Torrid had vanished without a trace. His personal documents, which were stored in the airport security office, also disappeared with him. It's as if he and the country of Torrid were never there to begin with. Now, a lot of people seem to think that the story of the man from Torrid is a case of a time slip, but some seem to believe that it's a hoax or an exaggerated case. Number 3. A Phone in 1943 Now, if you were born before the year 2000, you most likely remember just how big and primitive old phone designs were. Take, for instance, in 1943, the idea of a mobile device as we know it today, a sleek, pocket-sized gadget capable of making calls, accessing the internet, taking photos, and more, was purely science fiction. The closest things to mobile devices were bulky, rudimentary, and designed for a single purpose, communication on the move, especially for military operations. At the time, Mobile devices needed to be hauled onto a heavy backpack. These mobile radio units were the smartphones of the 1940s for soldiers, enabling them to communicate over distances, coordinate movements, and relay critical information back to command centers. But that being said, it was no wonder that this photo garnered the attention of many. In this photo, you can see a man leaning against the wall. And as you can see, it seems like he's looking at something small, something like a mobile phone. Many claim that this man was actually gripping a mobile phone. Others claim that it's a watch or something smaller.
Perhaps he's merely holding a piece of paper or a tobacco case. We'll never know for sure. Is this man a time traveler? Or was he carrying a mundane object misconstrued as a modern mobile phone? Number 2. Andrew Carlson Now let's talk about stocks. If you've been involved in trading before, there's a chance that you've heard the name Andrew Carlson. Sound familiar? Then you might already know his unbelievable story. It all began in early 2003. At the time, Andrew Carlson was still a virtually unknown trader. And yet, he made an investment move that baffled renowned traders at the time. Starting with an initial investment of just $800, Carlson rapidly turned this into a staggering $350 million in just two weeks. That's right, from pocket change to hundreds of millions in half a month. Naturally, Wall Street was flabbergasted, and it wasn't long for the SEC, or Securities and Exchange Commission, hauled him in on suspicions of insider trading. How else could someone predict the stock market with such uncanny accuracy? Luckily, Andrew Carlson was more than willing to answer this himself, but his response didn't satisfy many. On the contrary, his reply made him the target of more scrutiny. He claimed that he was a time traveler from the year 2256. Yes, you heard that correctly. According to Carlson, his knowledge of the stock market's ups and downs came from more than two centuries in the future. And now, it's time for today's topic. Man with time machine suddenly vanished, and now he reappeared with a terrifying message. In 1905, Albert Einstein developed his theory of special relativity and expanded it later onto the theory of general relativity. These two soon became the foundational tenets of modern physics and described the relationship between space and time for objects moving at constant speeds in a straight line. But what does this mean? This means that if you were to travel at near light speed, you would experience time at a slower rate. Technically speaking, this means that you traveled into the future. In fact, you're doing it right now, at the rate of one second per second. Now it seems that a man resembling the great scientist Einstein came to visit us, to warn us. He claimed that the Earth's end is imminent, and the only way to solve it is by living in peace and letting go of our desire to advance more than what humanity is meant to achieve. He claimed that in the near future, humanity would have a breakthrough in chronological manipulation thanks to Einstein's theory, but it would also mark the downfall of humanity itself. Now the message is quite unsettling, but vague enough not to warrant immediate attention. What's more, whether he's a real time traveler or not is still debated by many today. Regardless, many believe that either way, humanity should heed his warning. Number 1 iPhone in 1860. If you saw this painting in a museum, what would you think it is? This painting is known as the expected one. At first glance, this painting looks ordinary until you focus your attention on the object that the woman is holding. Strangely enough, it looks like a mobile phone. This is quite impossible considering this piece was created by Austrian artist Ferdinand Georg Waldmuller about 162 years ago. How could this happen if that's the case? Where did the girl obtain this phone? And where did Waldmuller get the inspiration to paint it? Some believe that the inspiration for this painting is a time traveler. However, there are also claims that the subject is merely holding a prayer book, a small book commonly carried by people at the time. Even so, the painting's weird appearance and subject continue to make it among the most talked about artworks where the concept of time travel is involved. Did any of these convince you that time travel is indeed possible? Which one convinced you the most? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.